Hi, it's Skip from Skip's of Skip's Messy Workbench, and I'm here to introduce my next project. And I'm going to be stepping outside of my comfort zone. Um, not that I have a comfort zone, <laughs> but I'm going to be stepping outside of my comfort zone a bit, and I'm going to be doing a die cast model um, that I found on eBay a long time ago. So anyway, it'll be an interesting trip. And um, I hope you follow along. So we're gonna go through, through, through this, through this, through this, through this door over, <laughs> through this door right over here, and we're gonna go down in the shop. And I'll give you an introduction and a box opening to this new experience for me. Okay, I'll see you down below. <laughs> follow me. Hi, it's Skip from Skip's Messy Workbench, and I'm about ready to start my next project. Actually, projects, because I'm I've got two of them going on, or that I'm going to be starting, um, and I'm going to be on both of them. I'm going to be stepping way outside of my comfort zone. Um, this one is in a, in particular because this guy is a 1928 Ford Model A town sedan, but it's a die cast model. And I have never built a die cast model before. So I'm, I'm going to give it a try. Uh, you know, I, I, I just, I'm going to give it a try. It's all metal with some plastic. Um, it's got over 75 parts on it. And, um, you know, I'm trying to see who it's made by, and it looks like it's made by JLE Scale Models. So I, this is still in the cellophane, and we'll take a look at the box edge here. It's not much on the box edge that tells you anything more. Uh, it's a stock number 4007, and the reason I'm saying that is because I also have a 1931 Model A Ford from the same company die cast and it's the exact same model <laughs> so, so you know and with the same number on it and it, i think it makes sense because there wasn't much difference in the model a's between 28 and like 31 or 32 so uh, i get it so on this side of the box then we have uh, some different uh versions not of the this kit that's in here but of models that they make so you can see they have the, the station wagon which is the woody and they have a pickup and the victoria and then the one i have here is the town sedan so i'm going to be giving this a try these these kits are 120th scale if i'm not mistaken yes they're 120th scale so let's give this box opened and let's see what's actually inside so i hear some things moving around in there so let's just get a knife on here and i know i'm a little off camera right now i'm working at an odd angle Okay, we'll get rid of that and let's get this puppy open okay so the first thing we have are 
is a promo sheet the way it looks and it's uh, other models that this company makes looks like they have a 32 Chevy coupe and a Roadster and a uh, however you say that Fadion these are all die cast models and then there's the Model A flyer with some information about the Model A and um, this particular series of kits and this is pretty it looks like it's really old it, it really does it's all yellowed I don't know if you can see it on camera or not but the paper is yellowed this kit according to Scalemate came out in the mid 90s um, so why it would be yellowed who knows there's no copyright on the on the box that I could see so I just have to assume oh here down here this is 1987 way down here in the corner 1987 so even so it's awfully yellow for a uh, 1987 kit this looks like it's the instruction set this is one of seven collectors models and the instructions are fairly they look fairly easy come here Looks like we've got some screws and they're, they're laid out fairly nice. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot of work to do and it's two sided. So this doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look like overwhelming. So we'll see about that. And what do we got here? We got some packing material and in here we have some chrome pieces so I'm gonna cut this bag open see what we've got in here for chrome and I'll tell you what that chrome looks pretty good um, it looks really nice so it looks like we have the the headlight buckets and the headlights these I believe are side mirrors and not sure what this stuff is but that's okay we'll find out so the chrome looks really nice that's in good shape put that back in there and then we have some plastic parts here we'll kick this out of the bag <laughs> it looks like we have some decals um, they're they're pretty crinkled they're wrinkled uh, for a taxi I won't be using that because I'm not making a taxi but there's a Ford emblem here a license plate down in the bottom here and I know you can't see this because it's written in white but it it's it says Joe's Joe's towing so uh, I don't I'm probably not going to use be using any of these decals and they look in pretty bad shape anyway oh and here it says California or bust in white lettering so we'll put those aside and then it looks like we have a a back like a chest that gets mounted on the back of the on the car um, actually you could see it in the box art the box art shows this chest in the back and got some flash on it but that's okay that's nothing and then we have a seat in fact there's two seats here one front one back a little bit of flash on them but other than that they look nice and we have the wheels now some of them broke off the, the sprue which again I don't care so we have the wheels and the steering wheel over here so that's cool so, so far we have all plastic
Ooh, we got some more packing material. But now I see something coming here. Okay, here's the tires. The tires are individually, are, are wrapped separate in this one, and that's good. The, uh, I'm glad they weren't just laying in the kit. So we've got the tires and, and they look cool. And now here is the fenders. This is die cast. And it's got some detail on it. It's got four board. You can hear there's a rough roughness to it. And it's got some pedals. It's got some pedals. Um, so actually it's pretty clean. There's not a lot of like over flash on it or anything. So that's not bad. It's got some weight to it. And then we've got the frame. Again in die cast. This also looks good. It's got a front, it's got a bumper mounted right on it. So that looks pretty good. Okay, and then we've got half an engine. <laughs> Oops, let's go this way. So we have half the engine here. Oil pan. Exhaust. Transmission. So half of the engine's there. And we've got a cast iron radiator. Everything looks really good. It doesn't look like there's a lot of things cleanup to do or anything on this. So it looks good so far. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, we've just got a, a rod or a pin, probably the ax probably an axle, but who knows? It could be a drive shaft because it fits right into the rear end. <laughs> but we'll see. It also fits in. Well, it doesn't actually. So it might be the drive shaft. Who knows? We'll find out. But here's the rear end. It's got the springs built right in. A little bit of cleanup here. There's some, there's a little bit of, of, of uh, casting flash there and some and mold marks there. I gotta probably use a metal file to get some of that stuff off. But that looks pretty good. And this looks like the other half of the engine. And it is. This is the other half of the engine. So let's see how that's going to look when it's together, huh? So that goes together like that. Um, there, must be, there must be a head on here somewhere. So that'll go together. I might not even have it together, right? Like I said, I've never done a die cast kit before. So we'll see. And we have some other small parts in here. Don't know what it is, but we'll find out when we get there. Oh, there's the top of the engine. There's the head. That's the head. So this is a four cylinder, which I think all Model A's were. I could be wrong on that. Let's see how this thing goes on here. Okay, the head goes on there like that. So this will be real interesting to put together. And we got more parts in here. Let's see. Let's cut this bag open. Okay, now here we've got some sort of a bracket. And you can see all of the flash 
I'm calling it flash. I don't know if that's what they call it in diecast, but um, there's a lot of overspill here that has to be cleaned off because the bracket's actually just this piece in here, up in here, and then the hole. So that's got a lot of cleanup to do. Uh, this is the dashboard. Looks like this has some cleanup on it too. There's quite a bit of flash on it. I couldn't tell you what this rod is for at this point, but we'll find out. Some more parts. It's very interesting to see uh, some of these parts because like I said I, I mean I've never done one if any of you guys have ever done one please let me know now here's another dashboard that has a windshield frame on it there's a lot of flash around the windshield um, so where is that other dashboard I had here's the other dashboard without the um, I'm at a again I'm sorry I'm at a weird angle without the windshield on it. So I'm assuming we can maybe make a convertible out of it um, or not. I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll learn. We'll learn together if you've never done one. And it looks like this is either, again, the front or the rear bumper. I'm assuming it's the rear bumper. Got suspension springs. And I I think I know what this is. I think this is the bracket that holds that uh, that white chest that we had out here before, this guy here. I think that's what this bracket is for. I believe that's going to be similar to that again I could be wrong but I think that's what that's going to be for so that's that got some more stuff in here let's get this out of the bag and we have the roof Roof already has a texture on here. It looks nice and clean. Doesn't need a lot of work to it, at least at first glance. And what else do we have in here? Okay, we have one of the sides. Again, looks fairly clean. There's a little bit of cleanup to do on some of the edges, but it looks fairly clean. And the other side is in here also. Let me get this open a little further. So here's, here's the other side. Again, looks fairly clean. So I'm assuming these two halves will just go together. As such oh and look at that one half has the fuel filler on it looks like things fit together quite well so that looks good and then we have the one hood this has a lot of flash on it this has a tremendous amount of cleanup to do uh, so much so I can't even get it on the, the car and then the other side of the hood it's very nice and that'll go on this side this one I could actually put near the body so this is going to be an interesting build, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm going to get started on this very soon. And um, 
I will be keeping prog keeping you up to date in progress. Again, uh, if there is anybody that has ever done one of these kits before, please let me know. I'd, I'd like some more information. I, I've looked up a little bit and I, don't, I didn't see a lot of information about people who actually built a die cast model before, but they don't look difficult. It doesn't look difficult at all. Uh, my, my concern is, is the painting because I'm using acrylic paint. I guess I'm going to find out how to get that to stick on to this die cast. And if not, I'm going to have to wait until the weather gets a little warmer outside so I can paint outside. Uh, I'm in Eastern Pennsylvania and although we've had a beautiful day today, it was like 48, which is really unseasonably warm. Uh, and I'm not complaining, believe me, I had the dog for a long walk up at the state park and um, it, it was just absolutely gorgeous and it still is gorgeous out there. So, uh, but it's still too cold to paint outside and, and it won't get warm enough to paint outside till probably April. But you know what, I'm in no rush for this, but uh, you know, I'm going to experiment with it because if I screw it up, guess what? I have another one. <laughs> Although it is a 31. All right. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to do this box opening because I have never again done a die cast type kit before. It looks like it's going to be something very interesting. Um, I'm looking forward to getting started on it, actually. There, oh, <laughs> so I guess that goes on like that. So this will be this will be kind of fun. All right, guys. Oh, there's one other thing in here. There is a box of screw or a bag of screws. <laughs> cool. Very good. Okay, guys. So, hey, thanks a lot for hanging in there with me. And uh, this is one of the projects I'm going to be working on um, over the next, you know, sh couple of weeks to a couple of months, maybe. So, uh, hey, thanks a lot for watching. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. Uh, give it a thumbs up because it really helps the algorithm. And I will see you in the next video. So, bye.